Just to be com oh my god <laughs> ano na niya <laughs> Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm here right now about to give you a most requested video. Actually, itong type of video na to, lagi like, tinatanong sa akin ng mga tao kung paano ko daw ginagawa. Yung makeup ko on a daily basis. I usually have an incredible team who does my look for me dahil madalas wala akong kakwenta-kwenta. But before I had the privilege of having my own team to do my makeup, I used to always do my own makeup when I was starting out in showbiz. And kung mapapansin nyo, yung makeup ko dati sobrang kapal. As in, pag tinignan mo, kailang insert natin. Pag nakita nyo, as in, parang, huh, pangit ng makeup ko kasi ako lang yung nagbe-makeup noon. And, you know, people always tell me, parang, parang you look so much younger now than you did before. And I was like 18. I was in my teens. Today, I'm gonna show you how I usually do my makeup for day events. And when I do this, I mean that it's really not like a, like glam, but it's more put together than my everyday makeup. So, let's go. All right, so you always have to start with protection. Um I already put lip balm on my lips kasi mamaya tatanggalin natin siya bago tayo maglagay ng lipstick because what that does it it actually moisturizes. Wow. Parang feel na feel ko yun. Moisturizes your skin before you put on lipstick. So, ibig sabihin, mas ma-absorb niya yung lip color mo. Uh, what I just put now is my sunblock. I never believed in sunblock, I guess, until I was in my mid-twenties. Now, I'm 26. So, I would usually be like, uh, bothersome pa maglagay ng sunblock. Pero na-realize ko na sobrang importante pala talaga niya. Not an ad. It's really important to take care of your skin. Prevention is always better than the cure. After noon, I just put a little bit of concealer. And if you'll notice, I don't really put on foundation pag day makeup. Kasi, well, kung yung skin ko naman, wala naman ako masyadong wow feeling. Pero hindi, totoo. Wala naman ako masyadong ko cover May seasons ako na kailangan ko talagang mag um, foundation because I get you know, every so often I have my breakouts, especially if it's hot and I'm not resting or sleeping well. But when I don't have breakouts, I tend to just cover my dark spots and even out my skin tone. And I would suggest that you do that too. A, because so your skin could breathe. B, also because my powder that I have is pretty thick. So it, it also has um, coverage. And, na ano letter na ako? C. <laughs> And see, because wala lang. Umigat kaya sa skin pag lagi kang naka-foundation. So, hindi na lang ako nagpa-foundation madalas. That's pretty much the coverage that I have. Sunblock kasi that I use also has coverage already. So, it has a little bit of... It's a tinted sunscreen. So, you can opt to get that also. Next up, I'm gonna do my eyes first because... Usually, people have like their own routine where they finish like contour and everything. But I realized that it's easier to do your eyes first. Para kung merong madume, like if, if it has like fallout or anything of that sort, it's easier to fix when you haven't put on the contour, the highlight, and everything just yet. And what also helps is if you put powder sa ilalim just to catch whatever's gonna fall. Wow, kasi syempre okay lang magfall, basta na magka-catch underneath your eye. As you can see, medyo tan yung powder ko. Magsisettle yan mamaya. I personally use this palette all the time, every time. Mukha na nga siyang dilapidated, as you can see. And I just like to use pretty much the same colors most of the time. You're gonna use this uh, brush. Uh, this is the C... C... Hindi ko alam kung ano ang uh, brush na to. It's an all-in-one brush. And you're just gonna dust it off like so. Ayan. That was the lightest one. And then I go. Ano nga ba <laughs> I go into this. Okay. Usually, nagbi fake eyelashes ako pag sa gabi. Kasi, I cannot be bothered with that. Pag umaga. Anas malayu talaga yung. Like sa stage talaga. Na hindi makita ng mga tao yung mata mo pag wala kang falsies. But, you know, I think falsies kasi could be very difficult to put on if you're not used to it. I'm kind of used to it, so pwede naman. But at the same time, it's a little hassle for me. Run, 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 wag ka muna umalis. Magkaya ka muna sa kanila. Yes! 
fresh. So you have the light one, the brown, and then I just put a little bit of like the glittery brown over my lid. Do you see the difference? Parang nagpa pop yung mata ko. <laughs> that is all I do with my eyes. I, and then I put on eyeliner. Brown eyeliner only. Sorry, this is a bad habit which you shouldn't follow. I pull my the corner of my eyes to kind of straighten it out para mas madali maglagay ng eyeliner. Although my friend told me that I shouldn't do that because makaka-wrinkles ako. But what the hell, makaka-wrinkles naman ako. So whatever. That's not good advice. Don't follow it. Ang hirap maglagay ng eyeliner na nakasarado yung bibig mo. For some reason, kailangan lagi siya nakabukas. Try mo naka... Ang hirap talaga! Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Bakit ganun? So, try natin na. Para ako naiingot. Kasi oh, parang... Oo. Oh, oh. Hindi rin eh. Kailangan naka nga talaga ako. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Ano ba yun? To get like balance. <laughs> para mabalance yung paglagay ko. Wala ko naka nga. Ayan, this is what I usually do with my eye makeup. Then let's do my eyebrows. I have not threaded or cut or shaved my eyebrows in two, three years. Medyo makapal naman siya. Hindi naman makapal. May kilay ako kahit wala makeup. So, okay na ako dun. And so, I just usually fill it and put shape on it. But it really depends on you. Some people like their eyebrows really clean. I don't. I mean, I, I mean, I do, but parang kailangan hindi masyadong hard sell. Whoa, hard sell. Hindi masyadong mahirap. If you're gonna ask me a profound question about why kilay is life, I think the answer will have to be because the kilay frames your entire face. So, what you'll notice is that people with um, more parang pronounced features, mas makapal or mas mas patusok yung kilay nila ganyan. But for people like myself where my my face is pretty pretty nice. So <laughs> <laughs> my face is pretty round. I can actually do away with the super plakado kilay. Sakto lang kilay. For a sakto lang pretty face like me. <laughs> yung di mo sana maganda pero pwede na nadadaan sa personality. Minsan, minsan hindi rin eh. Hindi talaga. Pag night makeup, mas ganun ako. But like, day makeup, I cannot be bothered. Alright! So since we've got that going already, I just put my powder all over. One of the best advice that I've ever gotten uh, with regards to beauty and makeup came from one of my good friends and also someone who does my makeup often, uh, Miss Jella Laurel. Sabi sa akin ni Madam Jella, uh, listen to your skin. So, meron mga seasons na, na oily ka, may mga seasons na dry ka. So, pag sa tingin mo, oily ka, eh di mo lagyan ng moisturizer. Pag sa tingin mong dry yung skin mo, tsaka mo lagyan ng moisturizer at tsaka ng kung ano-ano pang kailangan, di ba? Next, I will do my contour. The key to any good contour is to be messy with it. Just kidding. I don't know. I don't know the key to any of these things. To be... Com oh my god, I... Like, <laughs> oh, when that happens, you just laugh about it. Kaya mo yan be. Basta panindigan mo, mo, ah, I'm sun-kissed. Why ba? Oh, ha? Bakit? Oh, bakit? Nagawa ko naman ng paraan. If you notice, I tend to go all over my face because I just like a bronzed look. Aha! Uh -huh. And then I curl my lashes. There is no nice looking way to curl your lashes. Everybody always says na, that looks so painful. That looks like a torture device. Ayan yung term. Once you've curled your lashes, the trick to even bigger looking eyes, okay, like bigger looking eyes, is to line the inside of your eyes with brown eyeliner. Do you see that? All right. Ta-da! I have makeup on on unang hirit every day. Pero yung kasi nagumpis sa yun sa ganitong klasing makeup. As in before, nung bago ko sa unang hirit, October last year. Nage everyday makeup pa ako ng ganito. As in eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, and everything. Fast forward to what? I just put on lipstick and kilay now. Ni nang ako nagbablush on minsan niya. As in pag trip ko na lang. So 
you put on blush on, contour, and everything according to your face shape. I know that sometimes you watch all of these mga YouTube videos on how to do your makeup and you follow it step by step and you're like, parang hindi ko na makamukha yung vlogger na pinanood ko. But that's because we all have different features. So you have to kind of adjust your makeup according to your features. My feature is that my, ito, ang laki nung dito ko, see? My cheekbones are high and this is big. So, I think, I'm not sure what my face shape is, but what fits me is if my blush on is all the way. And then I use this like fan brush because it's easier to pile up makeup when it's not makapal ka agad the first time that you put it. And then I just kind of put everywhere because I like that flushed look. Oh. See? And today, I'm gonna reveal to you the lipstick that people always ask me. Now, this is an everyday question that I get. <laughs> so, my lips are ready. And the lipstick that I always use, that people ask me, is this one. It's from Fenty Beauty. But, here's the catch, guys. I also have this same shade from different brands. And you guys always ask me what what particular lipstick it is. I feel like you really have to just look for a lipstick that suits your skin color. And I've realized that lipsticks like this, yung parang old rose color, it fits my skin color perfectly. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now that I've got my makeup done, this is my usual look on a daily basis. Wow, daily basis. Pag may event, pag may lakad, ganyan. Or pag lumalabas ako, usually it's just a darker version of this. And then you just put the secret power. Boom. Pamuta. Pamuta effect. I don't know. I just like that parang super popped look. And you just put on your brows also. Like... So, and then here. And then you know how in makeup tutorials, they always say to put your um, highlighter here. But the thing is, if your face shape is not there, you shouldn't put it there. Because if I put it there, it's just going to make my cheekbones even more pronounced. So what I usually do is I dab it here in front instead. And that's it for my makeup tutorial, guys. And then after that, the most important thing to remember after you do your makeup is to own it. And put on a smile. Yan, artehan mo lang girl ko naman, no? Wala yun sa makeup, sa arte yan. Alright, gusto ko yung may slow-mo, slow-mo. Yung may ano, yung may ganun. Yung may ganun yung mga makeup vloggers. And that's my look for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. It's probably never gonna happen. I'm probably never gonna upload another video like this. But anyway, if you liked it, thanks. <laughs> Ito na, ito na yung slow-mo part. One, two, three. <laughs> um, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit the notification button. And please lang, panoorin nyo naman yung mga vlogs ko, guys. Ano to? Titigan na lang tayo. <laughs> Joke lang. Love you guys.